All right, so this is a reaction video to uh, Abomination Part 2 by Loki, yeah, featuring Lupe Fiasco, M1 from Dead Press, and Black the Ripper, yeah, Long Live the Legacy of Black the Ripper, yeah, me, aka Samson, yeah, me. Um, what was I gonna say? So, the link to the original video, yeah, is in the description box below, yeah. If you've got any other suggestions or what you want me to react to next, leave that in the comment section below. Um, Hit the subscribe button, hit that bell notification because you never know the video you suggest might just be next. Let's go, let's get it. Yeah! Yeah, I know, I'm hyped in it. Global faction, get me. So, so That's his real name, say. Loki. Loki is not his real name, surprisingly enough. <laughs> It's an important line there. I'm all about peace and love. Yeah, I'm all about peace and love. Calling him a terror. Calling him a terror. Okay, one nation in the world has over a thousand military bases. Please, uh, Let me give you a hint. Cutter? It is not. And you know what's interesting? Uh, you're probably wondering where that song is from. Yeah. That song is from. Uh, that song is from the song uh, Terrorist. Um. I could react to that, I may react to that, I don't know. Here's the deal. Give me 1k likes on this video and then I'll react to terrorists. How about that? Yeah? 1k like. Sounds a bit much, but it's not really because this has got what 2 points out in million views. Um, so 1k like is nothing really. It should have been. In fact, no, no, no. Here's the deal. Forget that. Get me to. A thousand subscribers, yes, one thousand subscribers, and then I will react to that. Yeah, let's keep it moving. Luxembourg. It's not just Muslims that that oppose your imperialism. He's going to tell you who it is. Lumumba was the democracy most attacked. Allende. There you go. Okay, so so this is the rapper. All right, that's mm -hmm. his music. Bust a beat for me. Right? All right, sure. All right, little disclaimer. Yes, I have heard this before. Yes, I have seen the video before. And uh, yes, it is like I'll explain something late, later on um, in the video. But I haven't really reacted to this, reacted to this video in it. So I'm going to react to it. Like I said before in another uh, reaction video to part one of this song I mentioned that music is about feeling you hear me and you know if you feel it naturally you're going to react to it and this was like years later in terms of how old this song is you know you don't just see it hit see and hear it once and you feel it and there it there it, and that's it that's it that's not the case music you have that feeling it's always going to give you a different level of feeling or never just a different level of feeling anyway you, you know what I mean like get me you know what I mean let's go What did I say in part one? Yeah, in part one, I said something similar. Yeah, and OP said something similar as well. But follow the the, the money trail. Yeah, follow, follow the money like. How I stumbled across who the real, you know, who the real oppressors are, who the real colonizers are, who the real flipping devils are, yeah, I found out when I was literally just curious about money. When I say curious about money, I wanted to know where does money come from? Like, if the world is in debt, I remember I asked the that question, I think I asked the, I can't remember the Pacific question, but I remember exactly where I was, yeah, I was in the kitchen, I'm not going to say where the location of that area was in it, even though they don't live there anymore. But like, I was in the kitchen and I remember I asked her, because I remember, the, the, I think it was on the news, that's when I heard it, about 
about the country being in debt or the world being in debt. And I'm like, why don't they just print off new money? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, where does money come from? Do you see what I mean? And it's like, then I started doing my own research and I found out a whole load of stuff that I was like, yo, this is insane. But, um, yeah, let's get, get, get back into it. How they do it? See, they game, they run. Give a fuck of this cunning, articulate and handsome. Afghanistan held for ransom by the hand of this black man. Neo colonial puppet. White power with a black face. He said, fuck it, I'll do it. A master of the sky, expert at telling lies. Then they gave him a Nobel Peace Prize. Should have known he was trained in Chicago. Or the chairman Fred and Mark Clark. What they do in the dark will come out in the light. Like a WikiLeaks site. So I guess the crew was right. Who's ready to fight? Last stage of imperialism. I ain't Oh, wrong. I heard this, see this is the thing, remember about, I said, well I can't speak, remember what I said about music, sometimes you hear things, you will hear things and see things differently when you hear it again. I didn't, I didn't realise he mentioned about Kwame and Kumara in, um, in, this, in this song, I didn't realise, yeah, yeah, and it's actually a positive reference he's making to Kwame and Kumara basically, and in case you didn't know, Kwame and Kumara is basically, he's, as much as uh, as much as some people believe that Ghana and most African countries are independent or stuff, there he's basically led um, Ghana to be the first African country to be um, independent from colonial powers. But unfortunately, Ghana is still colonized. Hopefully, I don't want to. Um, so I'm gonna be careful with the words I say because I know words are powerful, but. You know, we're, we're aiming to make Africa great again where there is no neo-colonialism. And you heard him mention about, I uh, heard Emma talk about neo-colonialism. So it's like, do you know what I mean? And yeah, there's a lot going on here. A lot going on here. But anyway, let's keep it moving. Um, Yeah, let's go. It's a Marvin Gate, this ain't living. <laughs> I got black the rip up. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, I've heard this so many times, yeah, that if I was gonna pick a favorite verse from this actual verse or this part two of um Abomination, it would be Black the Ripper. Like, it's because of his clarity, it's because of the way he comes in with it's not like it's not aggressive aggressive, but it's aggressive at the same time. Do you see what I'm saying? I, I don't have to explain it. He's like he's letting you know that I know what's going on, bruv. You know what I mean? Like the same way the cameras are watching watching us, we're watching you. You feel me? Man. And it's the way he says his name. It's the way he enters as well. O B M A A. We see the games you play. Cheers. Now we've got to pull it up a little. Let me pull it up. Get me. And Obama didn't say shit. O B A M A. You ain't fooling everyone. I see the games mm. you play. So you V I P at the B I C, and we know that's a code name for CIA. Hey, hey. The same way the cameras are watching us, we're watching you. Exactly. You're gonna send the troops, you're gonna drop the news. See, it's not where you're from, it's where you're at. He's sitting in the white house. So, who cares? He's black. Why is there soldiers still out there? Oi, right, listen, listen. I don't think you're listening. Listen, listen. I need to. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna pull it up one more time. Just one more time. Yeah. Yeah, me, big up black to rip on each and every single time. May his legacy live on. Get me, man, man. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's rewind it for a few seconds. Yeah. So you ain't got a clue. Revolution's on the way. Let's see what you're gonna do. You're gonna send the troops. You're gonna drop the news. See, it's not where you're from. It's where you're at. He's sitting in the White House. But who so cares if you're black? Why is there soldiers still out there in the back? Natural resources ain't yours. It's Puppet, but I'm not surprised. Look at Colin Powell and Condoleezza 
Friday mm. He didn't change shit House niggas fresh off the slave shit You all burn in hell Even Michelle Obama made it what can I say? What can I say? What can I say? Get me? But it was like, um, Black the Ripper is absolutely right. Yeah? You see, they think, it, the colonizers, whoever, they think where humans are easy to control. But what I'm seeing with, with each generation, right? And with more technology being advanced and all that stuff there, it's interesting how more people are being clued up. More people are being aware of what to do next. Do you see what I mean? I mean, yeah, it's taking a little, little time, but a revolution is, is happening. Do you see what I mean? It's happening. Babylon is falling fast and harder. There's nothing they can do about it. You feel me? But let's get back into it. Look on the video, though. Guys, the strip was getting by Obama, didn't say shit. What's the bigger threat from Osama or from Obama? Military bases from Shakos to Okinawa. I say things that other rappers won't say, because my mind never closed like one time. Woo! You didn't feel the statue or tattoo your arm. Loki said. <laughs> Loki said. My mind never closes like Guantanamo Bay. Remember that promise that Barack Obama made? I actually remember that. And I wasn't really following American politics like that per se, but I knew he mentioned that. Like, that's mad. And it stayed open. Bruv. Anyway. The drones are still playing on for Pashtun is done. Did he defend the war? No. He said it more, even had the time to attend the crew in Ecuador. Morales and Chavez, the states are running up for you. Military now stationed on bases in Colombia. Take a trip to the past and tell them I was right. Ask Ali Abu Neymar and Jeremiah Wright. Jones over Pakistan, Yemen and Libya. Is Obama the bomber getting ready for Syria? First black president, the masses were hungry. But the same president just bombed an African country like... Do you see what I mean? First black president bombed an African country. And if you want to know what country that was, that was Libya. Why? Because Gaddafi, yeah, what he was doing, Gaddafi was for the people, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was literally, do you know what I mean, going to break away from this whole United States and Britain or whatever, just controlling everything. You know what I mean? When it comes to the monetary system, like he knew, bruv. He, like, he, he, he knew, he knew, he knew. But yeah. And it's funny how he mentioned there's Obama, Obama getting ready for Syria, but then the person that followed him next to be um, president was Donald Trump. And then he ended up getting ready for Syria. Do you see what I mean? Like, you, you literally cannot make this up. But, anyway. The Jonas Brothers are here. They're out there somewhere. Sasha and Malia are huge fans. I want you to pay attention to what he is about to say next. Yeah? Well, pay attention. Pay very close attention. Yeah? All right. But uh, boys don't get any ideas. I have two words for you. Predator drones. <laughs> How is that a joke? You will never see it coming. And they're laughing. Why are you laughing? That's some serious thing. You think I'm joking? Like, exactly. Oh, look at that. Pause on Libya. The irony. Um, you saw me like... Really? 
why would you make a joke about that? Like, I get a father's protection. Don't ever get it twisted. Regardless of what the case may be, like, I get it. A father's protection. But, but to joke like that, you know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Anyway. Anyway. All uh, right, so big up low key, big up M1, big up a uh, uh, black the ripper, um, and yeah, big up everyone that is listening and watching this because at the end of the day, with this type of content, some people are not ready for, some people are. If like rake up the views on this original video, the link is in the description box below. You know, um, go watch that. I think that two point seven million views. Um, but yeah, other than that. I can only give this 10 out of 10 because of the realism and then also the visuals as well. I never really clocked the visuals. There's a lot going on and a lot to really break down. Um, I don't think I'll break that down in this video here. But what I will say is at the end of the day, everyone come true. They did their thing. Like I said before, like, uh, like Black the Ripper's part was probably my favourite part. Um, I don't want to really rank which one is my favourite or all that stuff there, but... From from time when I first heard this, Black the Ripper stood up to me, even to this day, he stood up to me. Not because of the current unfortunate circumstance, but I'm talking about it really does stand up to me. You know what I mean? It's the way you enter, like O B M A A. Get me? Anyway, the link to the original video, like I said, in the description box below. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, because you never know the video you suggest might just be next.